Hello and welcome to my F123 My Team Lamborghini Grand Mate here today for part 53 head of the Canadian Grand Prix and what is round 5 of the 2026 Formula 1 season we've got a great race ahead of us and this is the grid then for the Canadian Grand Prix and we are on pole alongside the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc then it's Lewis Hamilton P3 and Max Verstappen P4 then it's Sainz and Lando Norris Bottas and George Russell Joe and Piastri we round out the top 10 then it's the two alpines headed by ocon then it's the two aston martins headed by pajet then it's sergeant and fittipaldi albon and Hauger, lawson and nick de Vries. and on the final row of the grid is kevin magnuson and yuki Tsunoda. so we're here on the grid then ahead of the grand prix we've put it on pole position there's no rain expected ahead of the grand prix and we are going to be doing a one stop and then starting on the soft going to the mediums our pole lap is very good, you can see it there, but that's Saturday, this is race day, as the five red lights come on then, and it's lights out, and away we go here in Canada, we've got a good start, but not as good as Lewis Hamilton, he's already ahead of Leclerc, and now beat us into town one. Hamilton on his hard tyres, and he lifts him up like a Christmas tree, and he's in the lead. Leclerc tries to go around our outside, but we've been dropped down to P2. What a start by Lewis Hamilton, using his experience. Should never really get that good of a start on hard tyres compared to our softs. Leclerc's dropped back, but he leads, and now we've got to wait, find a way past the seven-time world champion. As we all thread through the hairpin there, there's a Haas and a Williams side by side as we head up towards the final chicane and the influence of all the champions as we go for a little look down on the inside of Lewis Hamilton this now has become a critical move we have to get past Lewis Hamilton he's on the hard tyres and Leclerc behind us is on the mediums and that's not on our softs we really need to get the job done on Hamilton get up the road because our tyres are going to go off way before the hearts of Lewis Hamilton and way before the mediums of Charles Leclerc but we've dropped back a bit from Lewis Hamilton now Leclerc tries to go to our outside we go deep he swaps us to the dummy as we defend him to the outside really put the squeeze on him and keep him behind for now as now we head up once again towards the end of lap two we're right on the back now of Lewis Hamilton once again as we head down into the first corner yet again we're just too far back to have to go up the inside of the Mercedes and anyway if we do if we go too aggressive Leclerc's waiting in the wings and could possibly get past both of us lap three now we're still on the back of Lewis Hamilton we need to get this job done on Hamilton it is race critical at this point but we're still too far back on the seven time world champion to even attempt to have a lunge or do anything on the Mercedes as we're still basically pushing Hamilton now through that chicane and now down towards the hairpin and now we will try we've gone a bit deep but that should give us a bit more traction to get out of the corner as we head now towards the final chicane once again we have dropped back a little bit there but we're now right on the back of Lewis Hamilton down the inside we think about it into the chicane but this is the closest we have been to the Mercedes as now we have dropped back a little bit into turn one and yet again we're too far back we had our opportunity at the final chicane, we blew it. As now we have started to drop back from Lewis Hamilton once again. As we nearly hit the back of the Mercedes. As we go so deep at the hairpin. As Leclerc tried to get round the right side of us there. Lap 5 and all the time. Our soft tyres are starting 
to go off as we approach our pit window very soon. This time though, we're going to not go for a lunge at the, at the final chicane. We're going to keep it together because we're getting closer and closer. And now we're going to go for the lunge down the inside of Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton holds around the outside. He knows the inside line for turn two. Leclerc tries to find a way through. We're nearly into the side of Mercedes. We're side by side with Lewis Hamilton now into the second chicane. We keep it pinned round the outside and retake the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix. Six laps too late, I would say. But we've gone deeper that chicane and now the DRS zone, the second DRS zone on the track is going to give Hamilton another chance to retake the lead as he has to really back out of it. He's nearly hitting the back of us. Leclerc now is down the inside of Lewis Hamilton and he's round the outside of Lewis Hamilton and Leclerc takes P2 off the world champion, the seven time world champion Lewis Hamilton. He's gone from first to third in the space of one lap. And he's all gone wrong for Hamilton there, but I'm sure he'll find a way back through. As this is Alex Albon now, who's slowing down and looking like he's going to retire, and he is retiring. The Mercedes engine has popped in the back of that Williams. And he unfortunately has to call it a day as his Canadian Grand Prix is over. Because now though, lap 12, our, our soft tyres were beginning to go off. And we were really struggling to get the car into the hairpin and round the hairpin as much as our tyres are in good condition. I would very much disagree with that one. We are struggling with the tyres here. It's now once again a lap later just can't get the car stopped now is a sideways coming out of the street out of the hairpin he really squeezed Leclerc into into the wall nearly Leclerc's all over the back of us though now as we head down Leclerc's going for it up the inside of the final chicane he backs out of that one but that may not have been the best of ideas because Lewis Hamilton's on the back of him now Hamilton's going to the outside he's too far back to get past the Ferrari but Leclerc in really was halfway alongside him could have gone for the lunge he would have had to give him the room ultimately has nearly lost out to Lewis Hamilton and now he may lose out to Lewis Hamilton here as Hamilton sends it into the hairpin now it's a drag drag race out of the hairpin and up towards the final chicane Leclerc won out on the traction race but now on the on the straight line speed race to the inside Hamilton goes he has to back out of it and I think Leclerc we've had DRS off of us or DRS off of Hamilton Leclerc keeps the Mercedes behind his medium tyres must be starting to go off as well those hard tyres of the Mercedes really coming alive now as this is the Aston Martin it's another Mercedes engine popping here in Canada and he's parked up in pretty much the exact same spot as as Alex Albon did as we box at the end of lap 15 but that's two Mercedes engines gone in this race two customer teams to Mercedes so should they be worried that the same thing's gonna happen to their engine to either Lewis or George has been boxed out onto the mediums to get us to the end of the Grand Prix 21 laps to go there's yellow flags that is for Teo Pachez Aston Martin as we come out of the pits and they found us a lovely gap to, for us and lovely to slot into there. And now, towards the end of lap 16, you can see Piastri there. We've got pit stop on our teammate. Piastri just not really been at the races so far this season. And now, this is Hamilton who eventually got past Charles Leclerc. And Leclerc now is going to box at the end of lap 17. So he hasn't been able to go that much further on his mediums and we did on the softs and he's going to the hards he's going to the hard tyres to get him to the end as we go across the line to set the 
fastest lap of the Grand Prix and we are going to be a country mile ahead of the Ferrari as we're already through the first corner but halfway round the first, second chicane as Leclerc just comes out of the pits lap 18 though Hamilton can't take those hards very long either only 18 laps as he boxes now Mercedes I put him on the mediums as we go through there and so does Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen followed us in. So great for Red Bull. They've jumped Leclerc and Hamilton. But where's Hamilton going to come out relative to Leclerc? You saw him go through your picture. And Leclerc has done the undercut there. That may have handed, showed Mercedes hand there really. As we, lap 20, are just dominating the race now. We pulled away from Max Verstappen, the gap stay in between two to three seconds. But not only ultimately there, you would have thought that Hamilton would have gone longer onto the softs at the end of the Grand Prix would be absolutely rapid as he goes down the inside of Charles Leclerc. Leclerc holds it around the outside, but ultimately now the roles have reversed from the open half of the race. Hamilton now on the mediums, Leclerc now on the softs, Hamilton on the hards. Hamilton gets the job done before he even gets to the final chicane. But can the Ferrari get him back here as they head down towards turn one? And Leclerc's too far back. But I think Mercedes really had to think on the fly there to cover off Ferrari's strategy for the undercut. And it was working for Ferrari until that point is now we that 33 cruising. Now an 85 seconds up the road. And Max is Max is there's an issue with Max for snapping and that is the issue with Max for snapping. He's got a puncher. Max for snapping slowing down. He's got a left rear puncher, a right rear puncher. As there goes Hamilton through and not far behind will be Leclerc and his teammate as well. It's all gone wrong for Max Verstappen. He's hunting us down in the World Championships and it's all gone wrong. So that does maybe affect our race as well because we boxed the exact same lap as Max Verstappen. So was Max just pushing too hard to keep up with us? Or do we need to turn the pace down a bit now? Possibly to get these tyres to the end if we're going to have the same issues as Max did as he comes out of the pits now. So you can see here this is the replay of when the tyre let go for Max Verstappen coming out of the hairpin and there it goes it has popped. It is now on to the final lap. We've dominated this race with 15 seconds at the road from Lewis Hamilton. Because we are going around the final corner and we're going to make it five in a row and three in a row here in Canada. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friend. Well done. Truly magnificent drive then and a great performance from the entire team to secure victory here in Canada. Natalie, fill us in. What was it that helped the team achieve their success today? Well, confidence breeds confidence. Success breeds success. They are very much enjoying the purple patch right now. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. So that's been your Canadian Grand Prix. It's now 
five in a row for us this season we've won all five rounds this season Hamilton comes home for P2 then Leclerc comes home for P3 as well Bottas ended up flying the flag for Red Bull in the end finishing P4 Max Verstappen did get the fastest lap taking that off of us with his puncture so he has kept us away from maximum points there for our fighting in the world championship and Oscar Piastri for us in P6 Six. Down at the back though, the two DNFs of the day were Teo Pucher and Alex Albon. Both Mercedes engines going bang, but that didn't seem to affect the works team then, as George and Hamilton both getting to the end of the race. This is the World Championship now, and we have a 63 point lead over Max Verstappen as we head into our home Grand Prix next time out. Max Verstappen would put a bigger dent in him today with that puncher, fortunately for him. And then it is Lewis Hamilton P3 and Leclerc, so that battle was very critical between them two as well for P2 ultimately in the race, P3 at the time. Down at the back though, there is still many drivers still yet to score this season. This is the Constructors and we have a 69 point lead in the Constructors World Championship really all on our own pretty much Piastri just hasn't been at it so far this season I hope we can win the Constructors That's one thing we still haven't ticked off Red Bull P2 they stay ahead of Mercedes There's Ferrari, Alpine, McLaren, Alfa Romeo, Aston Martin, Williams, Alfa Tauri And the only team that hasn't scored is Haas. So that's been your Canadian Grand Prix and I hope you enjoy it as we go to our home Grand Prix next time out at Silverstone as we go there hoping to make it six in a row this season. I'll see you then. Goodbye.